Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. We're going to do another few normal runs before we hop back onto the deleted. Um, and eh, Tainted Bethany is not really floating my boat. Neither is Lazarus. Neither is Tainted Bethany. Tainted Job we did kind of recently. Tainted Eden is a big no. Okay. <clears throat> that was a lot of skipping around. But we got to Arachna. We'll go for Arachna. That sounds good to me. Let's jump in. She's a fun character. She's a bit powerful. She's got some good stuff going on with her. We haven't played as her in a little while. I'm totally down to do some Arachna gameplay. Uh, we're just going to try and utilize her ability as best we can. The so slow down and the egg sacks. Did they make the egg sacks smaller also? Secret room that I was not expecting. Thank you. Secret room that is potentially useful. Yes. All we wanted is at least one soul heart to make it useful. But anyways, yeah. Um, we are jumping back in for some Isaac. I'm having myself a good time. I have a pretty low backlog right now. <coughs> Pretty much every time, really, for a single penny. I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, um, since I went on holiday, I've not really regained my backlog. I literally ate my entire backlog uh, to go on holiday. Um, and I've, yeah, I've since not really regained that. All gone. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, since it's not really rebuilt that. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of rebuilding today. I'm going to try and record three Isaac videos today, maybe. I'll see how that goes. But anyways, as for the question of the day today, this is one that um, I'm I'm I am a little cautious of it. Um, perhaps leading to some slightly uh, I won't say hurt feelings, but people not being so happy. <laughs> but I'll ask it because it was it was a qu question that was suggested. What is your relationship status and why? <laughs> I have a feeling there's going to be a few people that might not be super happy with their current status. But anyways. Yeah, ma the main reason I decided to even ask this question, even though I know that it might not be the best for some people, is just because, like, while some of you might not be interested, I haven't really spoken about my relationship much. And it's not out of, like, not wanting to. Well, so it's not, I won't say it's that, that I want to, more, more so, I mean, like, it's not out of, um, dude, come on now, how did I miss that? It's more so just that I haven't really sort of thought to recently, at least. God, it got a bit of like when I birthed all the spiders there. But we got a, a good bunch of fellas here. Little Chub is pretty useful. Give me a soul heart. Ugh, always gives red hearts. Always give red hearts to the Huggy Boys. Um, but yeah, so for those of you that don't know already, I am in a relationship. Um, and I have been for nearly nine years now. Um, which is, like, thinking about it is just a ridiculously long time, considering... I'm, um, oh, curved horn. Wait, 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 let's have a look and see. Um, all stats up, can't be dropped. Picking up a key has a 25% chance to destroy the trinket and use a key. Ah, that, that would be good if curved horn wasn't here. I would have definitely have taken that. But yeah, curved horn is, is by far the way to go early on. Um, very, very good room for us there. Okay, this guy's going to be a little bit of a pain. Sadly, didn't manage to gather any more spiders here. But yes, yeah, so I've been in a relationship for like, uh, Eight and a half getting on for nine years, um, since I was 16. Um, I met my girlfriend in, in college, and by that, this is something that, that can confuse people sometimes. That's like the British version, the English version of college, which means that I went to um, secondary school, sort of, which is like American high school, then I went to college, and after college I went to university. I, like different countries do education very differently. I know America specifically does it quite differently to the UK. Uh, so when I say college, I don't mean university. I went to college and then university. Also, White Rose here is fantastic too. Um, and yeah, we'll go this way. Why not? Um, yeah, it was in... I, I was at college for two years. I can't remember if it was in my second year of college or first year. I think it was early on in my second year. If I remember correctly. It's kind of it's kind of hard to remember now, I'll be honest. Okay, can we use this to like... Yes, we can. Thank you, Key. I will take. I will take, indeed. Um, But yeah, I think it was pretty early on in my second year. And, like, it was... It it was um, a pretty sort of normal... I said normal. It was a kind of a normal way of us getting together. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So basically... The way that it happened is that I um, was, ooh, Hemolacria, hell yes. I was into her friend, <laughs> and, ooh, we look awesome. And I um, I pursued her friend for about three weeks or so, 
um, and then like took her friend on a date and it, it didn't really it didn't really work out turns out I'm, I'm pretty glad it didn't work out she wasn't particularly a nice person after like sort of the do you know like the honeymoon phase of, of, of knowing someone that you, that you might like having a having a crush on someone liking someone you kind of think they're all that and then once you learn to, once you learn more about them like you don't it doesn't really put you off but then in retrospect after the fact oh that was really dumb but we got we got something out of it so it's fine um yeah in like retrospect after the fact you kind of realize that actually they weren't really right for you and you were just you you you, you just fancied them because i don't know anyways yeah what wasn't really the right for me anyways but i um oh hello it's you um, yeah, I asked her out, and, um, also, this is gonna make my spider's damage insane, I just re realized that. I'm gonna get a lot of tumors. I'm not gonna go devil deal here, because my health is pretty precious. Um, so yeah, I, I asked, I asked a friend out, I took her on a date, I think I took her on a date on Valentine's Day, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, it was the first date I'd ever been on, and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a great day, I'll be honest. It, it, it didn't, it didn't really, there wasn't really a spark or a connection. So, about... Probably about a few days to a week after that. Obviously, I was pretty bummed out, um, and I uh, I had just had my um, my phone returned to me. I had a I can't remember if it was an iPhone or iPod. I'm pretty sure it was an iPod. Um, but I was fairly into like Twitter and Snapchat at the point at that point. I don't really do social media anymore, but I, at that point, I was into like Snapchat a lot, and so I. I, I I, I got my phone taken off. It's kind of a big roundabout story, but we'll get there. But anyway, so, yeah, I had my phone taken off me um, because it needed to be repaired. Um, and I gave it to... Yes, I'll take that. I gave it to my uncle to repair, who um, claimed to be able to repair it. He... It was incorrect. He did a terrible job of it and basically destroyed it. I've told that story on my on my videos once before. Um, he, we, we eventually ended up taking it to a repairman and he, basically the repairman said that whoever has touched this has broken it beyond repair. They'd like, like got solder all over on the inside. They'd like cracked the casing and the uh, actual glass screen. They'd just done a lot of damage, basically trying to get into the phone, not actually knowing how to do it. And instead of Googling it or like asking someone, they just tried to find their way into it and yeah in the process just destroyed it so that was that was bad and i had to end up um get like taking it to um to a place so it took a little while to get it back but when i got it back was just about the time after this date and i realized that i had a friend request from one of these girls friends uh, who had spoken to only a handful of times like maybe two or three times uh, on Snapchat. So I decided, what the hell, I'll add her. And obviously then, like, a few days after I started talking to her, this this whole shit kicked off. Um, ooh, we'll, yeah, we'll bomb in there. Uh, the whole shit kicked off, and I was just kind of like, oh my god, that's a lot of rock spiders, hello. Um, I was just kind of like, okay. Um, and, and then she kind of sort of, uh, like, it didn't take long, but she kind of helped me sort of get through the, the sort of sad part of, of being... I, w I wouldn't even say rejected because we kind of both decided, but obviously I was still upset sort of thing that it didn't end up working out um, with this other person. So she so she kind of like helped me through that a little bit, although it didn't take long. It was it only really took me like a week to get over it. But anyways, um, because of this, we, we kind of grew quite close because like that's, that's a fairly intimate thing um, when you're um, sort of consoling someone uh, when they're upset or something like that. Sort of, it kind of, it's a fairly like immersion heavy process you know what i mean so we kind of got to know each other fairly well and we were talking quite a lot online via snapchat and i think we, we eventually got skype as well um angel deal here very nice this is an item that i like but it can be a little dodgy i'm gonna take it anyways though um and we'll go to the mines as well i'll go and get my uh, knife piece in a second here i just want to bomb this before i forget and use a bomb elsewhere um yeah, and so, so we, we're going to be good friends. We're talking on Skype, talking on Snapchat. And then, like, when we started actually sort of meeting in person a few times, we realized that we, we shared quite a few similar interests, actually. Um, we, um, we we were both quite into gaming. Like, we, we were both really into Grand Theft Auto V. Um, and she was really into, and still is really into, uh, skate games. So, like, 
Tony Hawk and Skate 1, 2, 3, all that sort of stuff. And I'd never actually played Skate 3. And it was around that time, I don't know if anyone remembers, but it was around that time, like eight or nine years ago, where everyone was just going crazy for Skate. Especially Skate 3 because of how glitchy it was. Basically, every YouTuber like PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, everyone was making videos on it. And this was... In fact, if I remember correctly, this is when Jacksepticeye was, like, pretty small at the time. But yeah, so there was, there was a lot of people making videos on it. Um, and so I was like, ooh, I've never actually played this one. That would be a really, really fun one to play. Also, I've just realised I've not been using Arachnus School, like, at all. I apologise. I'm too, I'm too engrossed in my own tale. Um... Stupid me. It's, it, do you know what it was? It's because I've got these rock spiders. I'm like, oh, I've already got spiders. Don't worry about it. Easy peasy. And we get that as well. Nice. Lovely. Um. Ooh, I like the music in here. Yeah, and so she ended up lending me her copy of Skate 3. And I, um, I, I played a bunch of that. And we kind of bonded... A little bit over that because we both really loved the game and then uh, I gotta say we were we were also playing a lot of GTA 5 online together um, and over the course of like probably like a month of pretty much constant online gaming together and like we we're talking on Skype pretty much the whole time I, back in the day where Skype was the main form of communicating online <laughs> but yeah um, we were uh, talking on Skype a lot and I, we just Basically, I asked her out in like a really, really cringy way because I, I was, because of what had just happened to me, um, I say what just happened like it was some terrible thing, but because of this other girl rejecting me just, just before that, I, I basically found like the, the most passive cringy way to ask her out by basically saying something along the lines of, oh, if I don't get a girlfriend in the next two weeks, you can be my girlfriend, sort of, one of those sort of stupid things where it was very, very obvious that I was asking her out without directly saying it because I didn't want to I didn't want to risk saying it and then lose the friendship that we had sort of thing and um, even though at that time I think we both knew it was very clear we were into each other like I think that was very very clear to both of us um but anyway so I said this and it was it was cringy it was it was ugh. I just thinking back on it I'm just like oh god why why was I like this um ooh, hello oh he destroyed rocks for us thank you um I want to try and get some more webbing going around here because I've not really been utilizing it very much. Um, and and yeah, I, like a, basically a few days after that, I'm going to take the other item. Oh, Spelunker's hat's so good. Um, yeah, a few days after that, I, 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 we both basically were like, well, we've essentially both said we'd go out with each other. Why don't we just fucking go out with each other? Um, so, so we did. Um, and it was... Both of our like first proper like real relationship, like I'd I'd dated someone in like um ooh that's pretty good for Eric Spool actually, um I'd dated someone briefly in like my early days of secondary school, um so that didn't really count. That was a relationship that probably only lasted about three or four months anyways. And hers was very similar. She'd been with someone, but it had been pretty brief while she was in school. This had been like once we got to college when we were nearing adulthood and like. I'd actually class it as a real relationship. So, like, nicely for us, um, we it was both of our first, like, serious relationship, or what we considered at the time serious relationship, and obviously what we consider now a serious relationship. Um, so it was it was a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a learning curve, but it was a little bit, like, kind of strange for us both. It was a bit different, because <laughs> we didn't really know. It was uncharted territory for us both. Um, so we, that's why we were both, like, kind of coy to, like, actually just ask each other out. What, what exactly am I doing with you? Are you just bombing yourself? Is that the shtick here? Oh, I picked the bomb up and threw it back at you. I see. Okay. Are you going to destroy some of these rocks? No. <laughs> no. God damn, the amount of web hearts we have is just giving us an insane amount of spiders per player here. Oh god, he's diving in the fire. Right, let's kill, kill whatever boss this is first. I knew it'd be you. Sadly, this is a terrible boss for us because our spiders can't hit you, but we have very good damage regardless, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah, and so, like, our, our, our first sort of few days have been 
an actual couple. We're a bit of a bit of a sort of learning curve. We we, we both didn't really know what we were doing. Uh, but I gotta say, it ended up working out. Of course, we've we've been together a really long time now. Um, we did have, of course, a little bit of difficulty in our relationship because we both went to different universities, which means that we were like cities apart. Like I think it was about a two to two and a half hour train journey um, apart for uh, three years. So that was obvious, and that was that was only about a year into our relationship. Um, oh, so two of these are Soul Heart Rock boys. Um, yeah, that was only like a like a year or so into our relationship that that happened. So obviously uh, a reasonably sort of big test of our relationship for the time. Uh, but we, we, we both said that like we were willing to like just try it out and see if it works. Not a great item to take, I'll be honest, just because we got low fire rate, but I'll try it out anyways. Um, but yeah, we, we both thought, yeah, let's let's just see how it goes and like we, we, we both want to keep this going So and and if we can get through being apart for three years at university, then we're gonna be pretty much set after that uh, And so that that's pretty much exactly what happened. We um, went off to she went off to university. I stayed in my hometown um, And I visited her every few weeks every three weeks or so and yeah after university um she was in a a much better city than me to be honest the city that she went to university in the city that i live in now just had a lot more going on and was a lot more interesting and more job prospects and everything just ev in every pretty much every single conceivable way it was um gonna be better for me to move to her so i was like well up for moving to her i did um we got a flat together um with two friends that had just finished university here as well and that that basically meant that we were paying a quarter rent each because it was uh, one flat shared between four people. So yeah, we were paying like very 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 low rent. Um, it was like two hundred a month as opposed to eight hundred, which was just fantastic. Uh, so it meant that we could get a pretty decent place pretty early on, which was really nice. And it's the place that I'm still in now. We don't live with the two other people anymore. I'll say that. Um, they they split up and um. One of them has moved home to their to where they where they came from, and another one is still in Manchester, but she's now living with a different boyfriend. Um, yeah. Right. Oh, okay. I was like, why can't I get that soul heart? Realised I'm full on health. Um, yeah. She she's in a, another part of the city. Um, it's a pretty big city. It's like. It's like the, it's quite expansive, anyways. But yeah, um, I don't know why I decided to do the boss fight now, but hey, hey her. God damn, we have so many spiders, this is insane. Is this a champion version of him? It is. It's a green, it's green uh, version of him. God damn, this run is insane. I think the webbed hearts and the, and the rock spiders are the thing that's truly making this in as insane as it is. Really. Like, everything's just dying without my permission. Like, it just spawns and then dies straight away. I don't even get a chance to see it. Right. What's left, exactly? Also, there's some weird stuff going on with his health bar. Like, it says that he was still alive, though. What the hell? Also, did you just spawn a devil deal? That's just rude. Where is the devil deal, anyways? No! I didn't see the bloody fucking hole. Um... I don't even think I got my item room that floor. And I didn't go to the mausoleum either. Do you know what? No. Um, stage. It's like four. Fuck that. <laughs> I won't take the boss item, but I didn't even see that. And I want to go to the thingy. Uh, Book of Insanity. Ooh, Book of Insanity is pretty fun. I'll take that. I also appreciate what um, what June's done here with the uh, the spriting of the book. They've not they've not taken the conventional method of spriting a book. They've done something a little different. I think that's cool. Why is there no little mushroom rocks? How dare you? Yeah, I'm just taking my time here to uh, blow up some of these rocks to get more spiders. Because why not? I mean, I can also get some consumables from it too, so I think we're at the max now. We're at the limit. Yeah. Oh, there's a bomb there as well. I didn't see that. Oh, God. What's going on with my health bar right now? Um, Something a little strange is going on there. Whoa, what are these guys? Ooh. 
That's pretty cool. New grimaces. I like it. Yeah, and then um, and then after after they left, we decided to stay in the same place. Like I said, the same place we're in now. Um, and we've just kind of been going on as we are. She um got a job pretty much straight out of university. She worked with a mature student at university that uh, basically wanted to start a business where because she works as a camera operator and this this person wanted to start a business where um they kind of collaborated between students and production and created like a not really a production house but like a a film what whatever you'd call it people that go out and record stuff created one of those uh but where a lot of the work is with students um and a lot of the work is with like up and coming talent and stuff like that so she ended up working, like, starting that business with him. Um, and then I ended up working alongside that business at the university for a little while. And then when that fell apart, or not her job, her job carried on after the university. They, they used to be part of university, then they split out and did their own thing, and they're still doing that now. But um, I originally worked as part of the university, but then that kind of fell apart, so... The person that I was working for started their own business, um, and I now work for that. And yeah, oh no, I think it's just it's all gone it's all gone pretty well for us. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty lucky to be in the position that I'm in, to be honest. Um, of course, there's not many people that can say that their first real relationship is one that they'll likely stay in for the rest of their life. I'm fairly sure that I can say that. <laughs> I I really don't foresee anything major going awry at this point. I think I think they say that after like is it after four or five years you truly know someone? Some it's something along those lines. Basically there's like a, a period of time, it's around four or five years where they say that after that period of time you you properly know that person. Um I realize I've got given myself an additional flaw here, so I'm not gonna Take the piss too much. We'll see. Yeah, I just wanted my item room. Pretty much that was it. And I'm not going to take the boss item, whatever it is, because I don't deserve it. I already took a boss item for the last floor. It's kind of sad that we're going to lose some health to the uh, thingy door, actually. Die, fella. Mother to the mausoleum door, that is. And you are kind of tanky. A few of these guys. And we get water tumors, which I would take, but yeah, I don't deserve. Uh, so how does this work? Sadly... Excuse me? Um, we're going to be using this again. Also, what is going on here? The Infinna chest is going crazy. Um, spawn web. Web heart baby. Um, five, five two thousand. Spawn five two thousand. Okay, we can give ourselves them back because that was definitely a glitch. I don't even know exactly how many I had, I'll be honest. It was definitely more than that. I think this is about right. Okay, that, that seems that seems right to me. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Right. Yeah, that webbed hearts are very bugged when it comes to that door, apparently. Um Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> webbed hearts are doing some dodgy things. Dodgy things. But yeah, um it's it's definitely like kind of crazy to me. Like, especially considering I've got like a lot of friends at the moment. Because I'm 25 now. I've got a lot of friends around my age group or a little even a little bit older that are obviously obviously still struggling with like the dating game and trying to find someone. And it's it's very strange to be like even people that I know that are in like long-term relationships have been in a few. Um, whereas, like, me and my girlfriend have only ever been in the one that we are currently in. So, yeah, it is, it is definitely a little weird that we don't really have that perspective and we can't really, um, sympathise as easily about, like, dating and, like, people, like, using Tinder and all that sort of stuff. It's just not something we either of us know. Um, which, yeah, definitely strange. But also lucky. It's, it's, it's very, I'm very, like, happy that that's not the case, like...
God damn, having to use... Oh my god, this is quite something. Oh my lord, that looks amazing. But I cannot... I cannot leave this behind. Okay, let's try and use our webbing a little bit more here. The problem at the minute is with my webbing is just that I do so much damage with everything that I'm not really getting the opportunity to stick a web down before things die. But yeah, let's try and use it a little more. Just so we can get a lot out of it right now. Like, that's going to give us so many spiders, yeah. Uh, the Onk, I don't care about. Pile of burns, it does give us a, a burn heart, which equates to a web heart, so that's nice. I also for, keep forgetting that I've got uh, 9 volts, so I'm charging up my webbing even faster than normal. The potato is pretty decent for getting extra charges. I'll also take the additional soul heart, thank you. Ooh, that that herming might hit me. It almost did. We got a secret room here as well. We do have golden bombs on this floor? I didn't realize. Um, I, yeah, whatever. I'll tell. Do you know what? I'll pop the world card on this floor. Why not? Let's let's go and do our um. Let's go and do our alt path mausoleum first. Because that's likely to take longer and obviously we don't need to go to the boss to come all the way back sort of thing. Okay, this is going to be a little hard to actually use my webbing on so I'm just not going to bother. We've also just got an insane amount of spiders already. Oh, we managed to get one of them there, wow. Yeah, rooms, smaller rooms like this, okay. Okay, these enemies are a bit bollocks because I don't know if you can tell, but the enemies there that are invincible will still destroy my spiders. So I lost a ton of spiders there. Which is just upsetting. I lost like almost every single spider that I have right there. I like the way there's always some some cost associated with, with making it to this area. What on earth is this this enemy? That's really cool, but I am perplexed by what the hell's going on with that. Oh, another web heart. Okay, this is insane. Also, that picking up that web heart just made all of my um, blue hearts, all my soul hearts into black hearts. I'm not sure if that's an intended thing or if that's just a weird side effect, but either way, useful. Oh, also, I have golden bombs. I should be blowing up every single rock that I see. Okay, this is going to be a little bit hard to get webbing on as well. What's this little dude? What is he? He just kind of chills behind pillars. I like him. Look at him. <laughs> What's he doing? Is he killable, I wonder? I'm not sure. Forget what you do. I always manage to kill you before you do anything, so you're not that threatening to me. Try those. And those. Wait, what? How come that didn't give us any Spidey Boys? Okay, I think it's just a chance, that's why. How did I miss that? God damn it. Burkano. Okay, this time we didn't actually get any extras on the uh, path. I didn't know that. I thought it always spawned at least a shop or an item room or both. Um, I didn't know it could spawn with none, which is good. I think, I think that's a good thing. Also, let's pop this pill. 40 energy. Very nice, very nice. The Tinted Rock appear as well. Didn't we see that? So many trinkets this from my god. Okay. Keep her moving. Isn't much else we need to see on this floor. check if there's any big clusters of rocks we can blow up. I'm not really sure. Not really caring that much about the, the single rocks, but when there's a, a big cluster, we should go for it. 
Especially if there's a blue fire involved as well. Okay, careful of the red bricks. They are truly my worst nightmare. Get the heal out of here. I don't really need the additional key there either. We just have this absolutely insane army. It's great. Can we destroy these little things? I don't think we can. Yeah, these things seem to be invincible. We produce these weird shots. Okay, we got fear on us here. <laughs> My god. This is insane. Okay, another world card there is fantastic. I'll take that. Also, the music on this floor is just incredible. Right. Let's blow up a few of these rocks. Get some of these Spidey Boys back. Beautiful. Oh my god. I can't believe the insane size of this army right now. And how did we manage to web all of those? Like, basically all of them were completely accidental. Ow. Okay. Boss time. It is a fairly hard boss. Oh. Do you know what makes it a bit harder? When he fucking bugs out all of my dudes. And eats every single spider that I've created because he's got invincible enemies. Yet another bug I'd love to see fixed by mods. Which I don't know if it's plausible, but... Stop invincible enemies being able to destroy blue spiders. It's so frustrating to just lose your entire army to an invincible enemy. I forget how this bit works. Oh, he turned red there for a moment. Oh my god. There you go, we got him. But yeah, we lost our army there. We did get a fire rate up, which we've been kind of waiting on. Wasn't a crazy fire rate up, I'll admit, but we've been waiting on that a little while, so I'm happy to see it. Ooh, we got a secret room straight off the bat here. But yeah, another thing as well, like... At the minute, sort of with my relationship that's, that's quite nice is we've gotten to, because we've been together so long now, we've gotten to the point where we kind of understand our needs for, for like socializing and, um, and independence. So like, I'm, I'm a person that's, I, I'm definitely an introvert, 100%. I mean, like, it's the reason I do things like YouTube, because I prefer to be inside on my own, speaking to myself. But... I do, I, I do also, I'm, I'm, I'm also quite a social person, and I do like, like, being social and social interactions. I just have, I have a, a certain level of tolerance for it, so to say. I also realise I'm doing that and I don't have golden bombs. Should stop. Um, yeah, uh, I, I had it just, like, so, someone in my comment section mentioned this, actually, and I did a little bit of, uh, researching on it. Basically, they described, oh, fucking hell, what on earth? The, the kind of... Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Um, They kind of described uh, how... Like, a, a, just a really good way of describing how you would do... How you would put um, an introvert up against an extrovert. Uh, plus one back card guarantees curse on the floor. Repairs his curse with special kind of new permanently... Uh, so, potentially beneficial curses. Okay, that sounds really cool. Um... I like the idea behind that quite a lot. Yeah, someone described it to me, and it's really interesting. Basically, they said that an introvert recharges their social energy on being alone. An extrovert recharges their time being alone on being social. So, if you're an introvert, you need time alone so that you can be around people. If you, if you spend too long around people, then you get fed up with it and you need some time alone. And then once you've had enough time alone, you're then okay, sort of recharged to go back out and meet with people again. Um, I don't know why I took all of them. There's no, no point really, but oh well. Um, whereas when you're um, the other way around, when you're a extrovert, you if you're alone for too long, then you need to spend time with people to recharge. Um, and me, me and my girlfriend, we're, we're both 
definitely introverts, but me far more so than her. Like, I, I can legitimately, because I work from home, I can spend all day, every day, at home, alone, and basically never see anyone, and be pretty much fine. <laughs> like, the social interactions I get with her are basically all I need, really. Um, I don't need much more than that. Uh, whereas for her, I feel like she needs to like see people at work or like go out with people at least once a week, um, maybe, maybe more sometimes. I'm, I might be I might be getting that a bit wrong. It might not be quite that, but anyways, that's kind of how I see it at least. I don't know why I used that there. Well, what's these like white droplets here? Is that part of our curse? Curse of the ghost. It must be. Um, there's like little tears falling up the sky sometimes. God damn. That thing's scary. Punching bag, no thanks. Three glasses is pretty good. Yeah, and, and like, for me, yeah, I really do need, like, time alone to recharge. And luckily, we've kind of gotten to the point where we both kind of understand what each other needs. And so, we're, we're both, like, get, got into a good rhythm of, like, we have enough social things, but we have enough time alone as well. Like... For example, just yesterday, we basically spent the entire day out with friends. But that means that today, uh, she went out, um, she, she went to go see family today. Uh, but I decided to stay home because I was just kind of like, I need, I need a day. For, for one, I, need, I needed a day to do some stuff myself. Like, I, I really needed to um, record this video as well as a bunch of others. I said I'm probably going to record three today. I just needed some time to, to get some recordings in. Um, eh, nothing there super, super useful for me. I'm not going to bother. Um, yeah, I need time to get some recordings in, but I also just wanted that time to have to myself as well. Um, so I, I took today, where she didn't really need it as such. I mean, she also kind of needs to see her family, but also, yeah. And I, I just I just like that we've got into that, into that rhythm now. We've got into that sort of position where we both kind of know how each other flows, and that, that, that happens with, with pretty much every relationship, I think. I don't know for sure, but I'd imagine in most relationships of this length, you probably um, have a pretty good feel for what your partner needs in terms of, like, social activity, and just what you need in general, obviously. And it's just, it's just, it's very, com curse of the master, interesting. It's just comfortable to be in that position now. It's, it's nice to be able to, um... Know that, that, that Katie knows that for me sort of thing. Ooh, I love these morbid looking rooms. They're really cool. Think we, did we kill him? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's try and get some spiders going because we're a little bit lacking right now. <laughs> It can't spawn from the, the, the chubs that, that this guy spawns, so... Hatch, my pretties. And what we got here? Eh. Just kind of beeline it to the boss at this point. I just... I, I love in Fiend Folio how, like... Like, one flaw can have so many different archetypes within it. Like, you've got this, the classic corpse room. And then, on top of the classic corpse room, what the hell are all these boys? Then, on top of the classic corpse room, you got the morbid rooms, and on top of that, you got these rooms as well. It's just there's so much like different variety in every single one of them. It's so good. I don't know where I don't know where these spiders came from. And maybe it's something to do with being arachna, I guess, and they've been charmed, but they seem pretty good. And they're my friends. Maybe it's something to do with uh, the three D glasses potentially. I guess that would make sense. Crack that open. Okay. Yes, we got so many webs here. Beautiful. So many webs. That's a lot of spiders. Oh my god. Yes, we're, we're about to hit the cap here. Ow. Grabby boy, grab me. V. 
This is a tricky room. Not a big fan of that one. And it's a dead end as well. Ugh. So horrible when it's a tricky room and it's a dead end. I like the way we have water tumors, but then also these nightmares. And the nightmares kind of just look like an evil version of the water tumors. Okay, we unfortunately went the wrong way here. But that's fine. Let's move it along. Oh, what the hell? I always forget about the whale guy. He looks awesome. I've just realized as well. I'm pretty sure my astral projection, whatever they're called, the big, like, white arrow shots that I'm firing also have hemolacria um, attached to them. You'll see it every now and again. It's a tooth with a face. They become mine now. Hello, this is a very fun boss. We're going to kill him very quickly, so he's not going to be fun for long. But he is a very fun boss. He's also kind of tricky, as you can tell. Lots of poison on the floor. Lots of shots to dodge. My spiders will do a decent job. But yeah, this is a really, really cool part of the fight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've never fought him for this long. Got rid of all my webbed hearts, sadly, which definitely makes us a bit weaker. Second water tumors. We would have had a third level water tumors by now. Unfortunately, we missed that opportunity though. Hoping we get some health in here. Nope. I'm not very happy with our current HP situation. Especially since we've got a pretty hefty amount of fiend hearts. Care to the ghost again. The fiend hearts could be problematic. We really need to enter the boss fight with a very, very good amount of, um, of spiders. That's a thingy. Don't want that. They're not lot of spool, then. I thought I did. Maybe it missed. Okay, let's just keep it going. Puzzle piece isn't going to be super useful now, because I very highly doubt we're going to get two more on this floor, but thank you nonetheless. I keep forgetting that because I've got Spelunker's hat, I know when rooms are dead ends. It literally tells me. I can very, very easily avoid any dead ends. Like, this room below here, if, you, if I go down, is definitely a dead end. Because it, it shows me one room ahead. It's a, a great buff. Spelunker's hat became a great item. Like, it was already very good, but it was, of course, very, very similar to what already existed. Um, so, changing it to um, make it so that not only did it reveal secret rooms, but now it gives you um, protection from above. So, we can't get hit from things falling from above us, which is really, really nice. Because I can get hit by those a lot. But also, on top of that... Showing you the next room ahead of you is, is just super useful. Oh, it's good, sir. He did. Okay, secret room here. I got some web hearts for free after this. That's nice. We did not get the amount of spiders we wanted. Mainly because of these fucking invincible enemies that keep eating all my spiders. Very frustrating, game. Very frustrating indeed. I've literally got none. Come on now, don't be a shit.
Okay. This room is good. We got a bunch of spiders out of this, and we were able to bomb a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna keep at least two bombs on me. Eh, that was that was decent. We've come we've come away with a, an okay amount. Not as much as I was hoping for, of course. Not as much as we've had previously, but pretty good run in general. Good bit of early damage to the boy. Oh, dude, that that like circled back on me. That did. What the heck? I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Because the thing is, once our fiend hearts get hit, I think things are going to start to go quite awry. Also, my Ward of Tumors is doing some interesting stuff right now. Ooh, damn. Okay, so these astral shots are um, really insane. I didn't realize how much damage they were doing. But whenever these astral arrows hit, they deal a metric shit ton of damage. Yeah, you see that? You see that? We just hit two of them back to back and look at its health already. Get around all that. Stop edging closer to me, fool. Oh, you bastard. He was going way faster than I thought he was. Okay, we've only got one heart between us and the fiend hearts now. A little concerning. Oh, god damn it. I'm really bad at dodging that attack. And I don't know why, because it's a very easy attack to dodge. Come on, more arrows, more arrows. I'm not firing nearly enough of the arrows right now. I realize that firing off that's doing nothing, but it makes me feel better. Okay, there's an arrow. You're getting too close to me, sir. There you go, you're dead. Awesome. Okay, that works out nicely. A good little run there. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.